What a game. <laughs> AR, what, what is he doing on that fourth and four there? This is about Tennessee, Alabama. Here. Game of the year, no question. We got kittens, you know, doing doing what they feel like they need to do. You know, muscle baby kittens. You know what I'm saying? But, wow, what a game. I mean, this is the game of the year, no question. I mean, three versus six, top six matchup. Two elite football teams. Yes, two elite football teams. And I don't like to call them for, for right now, Alabama's elite. <laughs> for right now. We don't – I mean, by the end of the season, I, th I don't think Alabama's going to be considered elite by the end of the year, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but I guess right now they can be elite. I think the award elite's overused at the end of the year. There's usually about three or four elite teams. Right now, I'll say it's about six. Georgia, Ohio State, Tennessee – Michigan, Clemson, Alabama. You know, Tennessee proved today they are an elite football team. Uh, there's nothing I, – I can't say it. They proved today they are. Uh, and for Tennessee fans, this is their – without a doubt, this is their biggest win since their last national title. And at first, it's going to be like, oh, my God, what's he talking about? It's like, well – and then you think about it, it's like, well, you know, you might actually be right. I think about it. Tennessee's won no big bowl games, no BCS bowls, no New Year's Six bowls since their last national title. They haven't had any important, you know, top 10 wins in the regular season. Well, like, not necessarily they haven't had any important wins, but they haven't had any, like, they haven't had a, a win like this, you know, that just completely takes over your season, you know. They've had, they've beaten some good teams, you know, in the earlier years after 1998, but they haven't, you, you know, they haven't had a win like this. They haven't, you know. Uh, they haven't won any SEC titles since their last national title. I mean, let's just be honest here. This is their biggest win. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't even think they've beaten a top five team since their last national title. I don't think they have. Now, you could fact check that because I could be wrong. I know they haven't beaten a top ten team since 2000 and, uh, 2000, 2006. Uh, they haven't been a top 10 team since 2006. They actually beat Georgia. That was the last top 10 win. Ever since then, they've been, oh, was it 0 and 40? 0 and 40 since then? That streak is broken today. That streak is broken today. And, uh, let's look at that. <laughs> uh, I, what a win for, this is, the, this is without a doubt their biggest win since their last national title. And it's not even close. It's not even close. Uh, you know. I mean, you know, it, you know, it, it's just, uh, wow. I can't believe they did that. And here's another thing too, uh, you know, I, Alabama lost this game while they couldn't get pressure on Henry Hooker. That, that's why they lost. Uh, you can't, I mean, Tennessee's pass protection won them this football game. Because we knew how big of an advantage Tennessee's wideouts had against Alabama's DBs. And the only thing that could save Alabama was their pass rush. We are like, well, the Alabama pass rush might cause a... No. Tennessee's pass protection dominated, and they, cl and they won this game for Tennessee. Because they did what the one question for Tennessee was on offense... How could they handle Alabama's pass rush? And they did a perfect job in doing so. Hendon Hooker had all day to torch Alabama. I, Will Anderson and Dallas Turner was not in effect this game. I'm not saying they did nothing. They kind of did nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, and credit to Josh Heupel. I, the running backs really had – they picked up so many blitzes. So credit to them. Uh, the tight ends, I mean, the way Josh Heupel set it up, Alabama, it was too hard for them to get pass rush. He forced Alabama to play with their DBs against Tennessee's wideouts because he knew they could not guard Tennessee's wideouts, and they got destroyed. They, they got destroyed. By the way, 42-21 LSU. Uh, this is going to be the – this is going to be – this is going to be the third year in a row that – LSU beats Florida with uh, while being an underdog. Uh, fourth year in a row total, they beat Florida. Uh, you know, that 2019 LSU team wouldn't know underdog. <laughs> they were to Bama. <laughs> destroyed them. Oh, speaking of that game, 
This game reminded me a lot of that game. High scoring. LSU got a big lead in that game. Bama was kind of creeping back. Bama was creeping back this game. Uh, they didn't actually get the lead again in that LSU game. They never had it. Uh, they got the lead, actually, in this game. And when that Dallas Turner play happened where he got the fumble covering, <laughs> after just going over him doing nothing. I mean, besides that, I mean, what, what did he really do, you know? Uh, I mean, you know... <sighs> I mean, Alabama's DBs got torched, and we expected them to. We expected that passers to help them out, and they did it. Tennessee running the ball. They ran the ball really well in Alabama. They ran for like 4.7 yards per carry. If you're watching the game, you could tell that they were running the ball well. Uh, their offensive line is just, wow. They really, they, they really did great today. Their running backs did great today. The wide receivers did absolutely amazing. Hinn and Hooker played amazing. Uh... And now switching sides, uh, Alabama finally plays a real run defense, and they get they get destroyed. Couldn't even rush for four yards per carry. You know, Alabama fans, that, you know, oh, top rushing team in the country, right? It's seven yards per carry. You got that off of 70-plus and 80-yard runs. You get the big play runs. Alabama could not consistently ran the, run the ball against Arkansas, but they got over 300 rushing yards because they got over three 70-plus yard runs. If you don't include those runs, Alabama rushes for less than three yards per carry. 2.9, I think it was. Uh, you go uh, the Texas game. Uh, you take away that 81-yard run, I think it's 3.1 yards per carry. Uh, you know, it's, it's just big play play runs, you know. that that's uh, Alabama cannot consistently run the ball against a team that's as, as athletic and as fast as them. Tennessee is just as fast as them. You know? Arkansas is not. Texas is close, but on that one play, you know, I, I just it's just the, it's just how it is, and it, it it got exposed today. Tennessee hit Bryce Young all day long, which I'm actually surprised with the amount of times Bryce Young got lit up today. He actually played the full game. Credit to him. What a warrior there. Uh, of course, he played great today. I'm not even gonna get started on that. Or just some one idiot Bama fan on the DVD's comment section talking about how they need to sit Bryce Young down. <laughs> it's so stupid. But, you know, it, it, Tennessee got plenty of pass rush from Bryce Young. The receivers for Alabama dropped a lot of passes to Let's just be real. You're probably like, well, if Alabama did this bad on offense, how did the, how, how in the world did they score? Uh, well, you know, they Bryce Young extended some plays, and they – Receivers finally. It's Bryce Young. Bryce Young played great today. It was Bryce Young. He extended plays long enough for Alabama receivers to get open, and they made a, enough plays uh, to score. But they the receivers didn't really play well. So it was all Bryce Young. It was all Bryce Young. And you're probably like, oh, this guy's just crazy. No, it really was. If you're watching the game, it was all Bryce Young. You know, in that fumble were touched on by Dallas Turner. Uh, Bama, undisciplined alert. 20 penalties today. God, I you got 15 against Texas. Now you get 20 here. You know, I, I just what happened to be to Bama being the most disciplined team in the country? <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. I wow. You you've got to be. I mean, and you know, Bama's honestly a little bit lucky that they only lost this game by three points. <laughs> uh, all I'm going to tell the Alabama fans is this. When Bryce Young is gone next year, when Bryce Young's cut, gone next year, and you lose multiple games in the regular season, don't come crying about how your team is well-rounded, with every position being great, with every position proving we're Alabama. Oh, my God, this is just going to fix itself. No, no. No, when Bryce Young's gone, don't come crying for that. And it's like, well, Milrow's going to have a big improvement. Okay, Milrow's an average, he's a below average passer right now. He might become an average passer, <laughs> you know. And, you know, it, it, teams in the West are getting better every year. Texas A&M's getting better. Ole Miss is getting better. Mississippi State's getting better. LSU is getting better. Auburn is getting worse. But every other team's getting better. They're all getting better, Saban. 
All of them are getting better. The, the time of Alabama being alone, just, oh, they're just so much better than everyone else. Those days are over. They're done. They're done. And you, you know it's true. I, those days are over. Uh, I feel like I was forgetting a team. I said A&M. I said Ole Miss. I said Arkansas. I said LSU. I said Mississippi State. I said Auburn. So, so wasn't going to do it. So, and you got to play Tennessee every year. They're getting better too. But I actually have a football team that has a defense. It has a great DB core. And I actually have a football team that can run the ball. I actually have a football team that has great players around it. And I actually have a football team where if a player gets injured, we're not going to just struggle. And it, 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 No. If Stetson gets hurt, so what? We'll still blow out everybody. We'll, we'll st we still will. That, that, we're, we're not concerned. Jalen Harder's, Carter's been hurt the last few weeks. If Will Anderson got hurt for you, you you'd be dead. And Will Anderson did not do anything today, by the way. I'm, I'm just putting that out there. He played bad against Texas, and he played bad today. So, I, you know, and, and Tennessee outcoached Alabama, too. They did what they always do. What does Tennessee do? If you match Tennessee in the box, they throw it. You put one less in the box, they run it. That's how Tennessee plays. Now, that does now, you know, uh, last year that didn't work versus Georgia uh, or Alabama because – Alabama had a good enough run defense last year to stop Tennessee's run game to where Tennessee kind of had to throw it, you know? And Georgia, well, we know what Georgia does, so I'm not even going to go over that. But this year, no, they got run on. When you get run on tennis by Tennessee, you're destroyed. The most important thing to stopping Tennessee's, run, uh, stopping Tennessee's offense is to stop the run. Make them, be, make them throw the ball. Because if you put them in those situations, you can design pass rushes and stunts and blitzes. And you couldn't do that as much because you were busy getting run on all over by Tennessee. And their longest run today was 20 yards. And that, so you weren't even, it wasn't even just one pop-off run that, no, you were getting destroyed in the run game. You could not stop Tennessee's run game. And Tennessee has the same, if not, I think, in my opinion, more speed than Alabama. Okay, it's close. But the point is, when you play a team that has the same speed as you, <laughs> you cannot just rely on your talent to, to you know, <sighs> you know, just, just run on them to the outside. We'll eventually break away or run. Uh, you know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll eventually just, you know... <sighs> Their running backs just aren't fast enough, you know. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. They have the same speed as you, if not more. And you got exposed for it. Well, guess what? You know, and this is what Tennessee, and this is a lesson that other teams need to learn. No matter how you're built, if you want to beat an elite team like Alabama, you have to play call aggressive. Arkansas didn't play call aggressive. Texas A&M didn't play call aggressive, and they lost because of it. Texas did play call aggressive, but they didn't have the ability to when uh, when Quinn Ewers got hurt. They played call aggressive on defense the entire time. They knew what they had to do to win. They knew what they, it took. Arkansas is conservative on defense. You know, Texas A&M, not really. But <laughs> I, Arkansas really could have beat Alabama. And I love Stan Pittman, but he, could, he, 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 he lost at that game. He should have managed that game better. Uh, as much as I love Sam Pippen, that Pittman, that's just true. And it's no guarantee that Alabama makes the SEC title. Ole Miss is undefeated. Uh, LSU is looking really good. And they only have one conference loss. Mississippi State, uh, they're looking really good. They might be the best one-loss team in the country. Oh, uh, well, until today. Uh, who knows? They might be better than Alabama. Now that I think about it. Uh, you know, uh, who else? Uh, you know. Uh, who else is, uh, what is it? Um, Texas A&M and Arkansas. I mean, you gotta be, you gotta be cheering for those teams the rest of the season just to upset teams. Cause those teams are likely out of it already. Uh, I mean, you know, I know A&M only has two conference losses, but you know, they, eh, I don't know. 
Okay. But, you know, and, I mean, so you got LSU, you got Ole Miss, you got Mississippi State. You got A&M, Auburn, and uh, you got A&M, Auburn, and, uh, and uh, Arkansas, you're imposters. Teams that are just trying to upset teams. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, you're a Georgia fan. Shouldn't you be concerned about Tennessee doing this good? No, I'm, I'm, I mean, uh, there's a lot of time before me and ten us in Tennessee play. Uh, that's just the truth. I'm not, and Tennessee has a chance to beat us. Tennessee has a chance to beat us. And usually I, res I disrespect teams when it comes to Tennessee's got a chance. They got a chance. You want me to beat, oh my God, look at AR. Look at AR. Go oh my. <laughs> okay. But, you know, you want me to be honest, I think Tennessee, before the SEC title game last year, i probably give Tennessee more of a chance to beat us this year than I gave Alabama a chance to win the SEC title last year. I completely disrespected them, but that was a once-in-a-lifetime win, honestly. Alabama's not going to struggle that much and then upset us again. I doubt that happens. You're probably like, oh, he's going to jinx it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. We're better than Alabama this year. We were better than them last year. And we proved it in the national title. This year, we know what happened last year, and we're going to be ready for them this year if we, if we even play them. I mean, Ole Miss is undefeated here. Mississippi State has one loss. And Bama hasn't played them. And, and what does Alabama show against all year? Uh, deep passes specifically, which they played today, but they their DBs have struggled all year. And the pass rush is kind of trying to do their best. And they didn't get pass rush today. And they're not going to have a chance to get pass rush as much versus Mississippi State because Mississippi State gets the ball out quick. Uh, believe it or not, they, they kinda, they're they kind of a West Coast-style team. A West Coast air raid, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, they don't really – you know, I know in the West Coast offense you usually run a lot, but they're kind of a West Coast air raid, if that makes sense. Mississippi State likes to kind of dink and dunk and all. So how, how will Alabama do against that? You know, uh, and Mississippi State is a good defense, especially their front. So don't don't even get that, or, or especially their. Uh, I said especially the front. I mean especially their uh, DBs, but their their front is good too. But I, their DBs are really good, um, and the, their DBs are better than Tennessee's. Now Tennessee's got a better front, so we'll see. You know, is there, they're going to run on Mississippi State? You know. You know, I mean, that that's probably the, your best chance against Mississippi State is getting breakaway runs like you did against Arkansas, like you did against Texas. That's probably your best chance. You know, you know, the only uh, the only game or the only decent team Alabama's really consistently run on this year is Texas A&M. And I give them credit for that. Uh, they got some they, they ran it good on Texas A&M, but they really I mean, Arkansas, and Texas, they just get breakaway runs. They're not running it consistently well. They didn't run it consistently well today. They didn't get any breakaway runs today. You know, you know. I teams know how to game plan against Alabama. You put pressure on Bryce Young, and you know. I mean, and something I've noticed from Alabama this year it seems like their receivers cannot. Their receivers have they caught a deep ball all year against a decent team. Their receivers cannot – they don't they, – they cannot uh, get separation deep. That's something I've noticed from Alabama. And Bryce Young's an amazing passer when it comes to deep balls. He proved that last year. But when it comes to the receivers, they can't do it. So you don't even have to worry about that. They've won off of short passes and trying to get you out of your rhythm uh, and throwing it over the middle. That's, that's what they've done. And credit to them for that, uh, you know. But – uh. Yeah, uh, it's time to reevaluate Alabama. That I might title that for the video. In terms of Tennessee, great job, great job. You're gonna get fined for rushing the field, but I wouldn't even care if I was a Tennessee fan. Uh, you know, 
What I am gonna all I'm gonna say is this: your receivers are not gonna be that wide open against Georgia. Georgia is the best DB group in the country. Last year we had the best front seven. This year we got the best DB group in the country. Uh, we have the best run defense in the country, so that's gonna be hard. Pass rush, we've struggled a little bit. So maybe you try to you, you try to draw some stuff up with that. Maybe you try to go five wide and four wide and do stuff like that to try to, you know, because of our pass rush kind of struggling. So, you, you know, which is uncharacteristic for Kirby Smart defense, but, you know. Uh, I mean, may, may, maybe, you know, well, look at USC, by the way. USC is a great team, in my opinion. I don't think they're necessarily elite, but. I have a high standard for elite, you know, elite. Well, look at Clemson. Struggling versus FSU to get that. This video is kind of getting long, so I'm trying to speed it up here. Uh, so that's all I'm going to say. I mean, I'll probably go to the Georgia-Tennessee game, honestly. It'll probably be uh, – Tennessee, they're probably going to be ranked three. Media loves Ohio State, so they'll probably be two. Uh, Ohio State hasn't been a ranked team all year. Honestly, I'd put Tennessee number two, Ohio State number three. I think Ohio State's going to be two, though, and Tennessee's going to be three. Georgia will be one. That, that's obvious. Uh, you know, four, you got to put Michigan at four. I know Clemson, uh, no. I, I think Michigan proved that they're elite, and Penn State's a great team, but they're not elite. And I actually have a hot take. I think Penn State's probably going to beat Ohio State. Uh, probably like, well, they just got destroyed today. Yeah, well, they got destroyed by a completely different offensive line and run game. Uh, Ohio State is spread it out. Uh, passing the ball, and I think Penn State's defense is that, – that's their strength. Their strength is against spread offenses because their DB group is probably – they have an elite DB core, uh, you know, uh, elite. And that, that's they, that's what they want. You want – they want you to test your DBs. And I think that's going to surprise Ohio State. Uh, but that's my opinion. I also think their offense will do just enough against Ohio State, but I, I really think the defense, you know – uh, huh, it's like Grady Jarrett not fine for tackling Tom Brady. Yeah, he better not be. God, those – oh, man. I, I made a vi – I kind of talked about that in my last video. I made it about the Cowboys. But, hey, man, congrats to Tennessee. For real, those videos getting long. Uh, and see you in November. <laughs> Hope all the Tennessee fans out there are smoking their cigars. All the Alabama fans making their excuses. But Alabama was so, supposed to be the best team ever before this season. Roll tears, roll, baby. <laughs> hey, I'm a fan of the best team in the country, and I'm a fan of the Georgia Bulldogs. And I'm a fan of a team that ain't going to allow 52 points to Tennessee. Most points Alabama's allowed in games since 1907. Bruh! Bruh! 1907! Kind of ironic because 1907 was the days where your scores were 5 to 0 and 12 to 3 and you know, 12 to 5, you know, because uh, field goals were worth, was it, 5 points or whatever? So, 10 5, I guess. I don't know. Weird times back then. Uh, your touchdowns were 30 points and your, you know, the extra point. So, you get, you know, the second year, four pass. Bro, 1907. And they had allowed the most yards in Alabama school history when they allowed over 700 against Ole Miss. Matt Corral, uh, you really got to have to watch those running backs in Ole Miss and State's wideouts, uh, Mr. Alabama defense. But, hey, uh, seriously, though, I'm going to talk about a couple more games. You know, why not? Uh, TCU. Wow. Uh, I I think Oklahoma State is still the best Big 12 team in the country. I think they're still going to win the Big 12, but TCU got a big win today. Credit to them for that. Uh, this Mississippi State-Kentucky game, 10-6. I've been keeping an eye on that. You know, uh, Arkansas blew up BYU. Auburn did, scored a lot more points. I mean, look at Ole Miss of 448 rushing guards. They're, Ole Miss, their running back core, probably second best in the SEC. I mean, duh, Georgia's first. Georgia's about first in everything. Uh, probably every every position group is probably the best for Georgia, uh, except quarterback. And I guess, eh, no, nah, I mean maybe, maybe our linebackers are better than Alabama's. I don't know. Uh, but hey, uh, receiving core, I might give it to Tennessee. I don't know. Hey, hey, Georgia won fifty five nothing. I'm happy. 
I, I'm gonna have to make another video because uh, this one's already stretched out. See y'all later, though. Hey, Sagalongs! Raw Tears Roll, baby. Bye. See you later, Tennessee. We'll be waiting in November and I'll be out there again. Oh, did they? Y'all saw him play Dixieland, the Lion Rush, good afternoon. Yeah, it was great. All right, bye now.